Yo, 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 what's going on, everybody? How you doing? You know who this is, the chosen one, Gabriel Skywalker from the DFS Club, coming to you with NHL. I knew you'd come. An NHL main slate video, guys, as promised. I've gotten lots of requests for these. And like I've said in the past, guys, as long as you guys watch these and the views are, you know, somewhat significant, I'll keep doing them, guys. Um, but, yeah, we're back. NHL is back. I thought I'd get this out before we do the members-only podcast for the NBA slate today, which is going to be a crazy wild one, let me tell you. Um, so don't you dare be sour. Here it is, guys, the NHL main slate. This tool right here is my sponsor, Draft Dashboard, guys. It's only $1 for 30 days. Click on the link in the description below. You yourself can have Draft Dashboard. You get access to all my saved lineups for every sport up here. NFL, NBA, MLB, NHL, um, all my player pools, the lineup optimizer, which is everybody's favorite, player trends, who's trending up, who's getting you in the old prison pocket, sleepers and studs, the position optimizer, which breaks down every single player, slate by slate, ice minutes, um, history versus that uh, particular team, all that stuff, guys, percentage of hitting five times value, and then... You got the NHL cheat sheet, guys, because if you can't win, cheat. Got the best studs, best mid-tier, best value of the slates, guys. This is Draft Dashboard. And if you want to join the club, guys, you want my lineups, my cheat sheets, the ownership projections, dfsclub.com. You got DFS space. Shout out to space. You got myself, Skywalker DFS. We are almost at 500 members, guys. This is a DFS grassroots movement right here because we're the cheapest in the industry and you get every single sport there are no freaking packages all right you get everything all access everything nba nfl mlb pga nhl nascar soccer tennis esports mma wmba college sports euro league basketball click join now click my logo skywalker dfs and again, guys, pick your plans. We're the cheapest in the business. We have the most fun. We win the most. And we're the cheapest in the business, guys. Please shop around and then come back and holler at me. If you guys have any questions, please contact me on my Gmail, skywalkerdfs at gmail.com, guys. Um, you get the members-only podcast one hour before lock. Um, we also cover price picks. We do sports wagering. You guys are into that. 24-7 tips and advice by Space and I and the members. We got some sharks in there, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so, yeah, guys, DFSclub.com. Come and get this fire. Fire, fire, fire. All right, so let's get into it. So we're going to start off at center. And all we can really go off of is kind of the matchups and, like, who we know and how good they've done. I'd say against this particular opposing team um and just the, you know just the matchups i mean draft dashboard's great you know when you see all green next to these players normally that's a good thing i don't always agree with it but i'm just saying so starting at center you got nathan mckinnon you know 8.5k you're gonna pay a premium on DraftKings. um where is and 200 more on fandle i love playing nhl on fandle too guys um 18 27 8 in his last three games First liner, um, history against St. Louis, 16, 19, 39, 11, 12. So, I mean, he was kind of up and down last year, but we'll see what happens. 8.5K, Nathan McKinnon, one of the best in the league. Next up, Connor McDavid, 100 draft dashboard ranking. Um, going up against Vancouver, guys. Last five games, 13, 13, 36, 27, 15. And in NHL, guys, anything over double-digit fantasy points is really good. Um, but Connor McDavid, another one. But to me personally, I think he gets off the slow starts. But I don't know. I'll see. I'll see how much McDavid I have. Um, sometimes I pay up at center. Sometimes I pay up at wing. But I do like stacking. I do like stacking teams. I have a strategy, but um, every slate is different of how I strategize my stacking. Um, Austin Matthews. Always a solid play at 8.2K. Kind of had a down year last year, I ain't going to lie. You might need to shave that mustache off uh, to get his mojo back, guys. Um, 13, 46, 16, 18, 12. So for 8.2, 
you're looking for, you know, dare I say 20 or more fantasy points, but he's definitely in consideration. Then we got Leon Drostyle here at 7.9K. Dude's a beast, man. They have him center eligible. Sometimes he's wing of uh winger of uh, bah, bah, bah. winger available on Vandal. So it just depends on the site. Um, he does have a 29 against Vancouver two games ago. Um, his floor, I mean, with NHL players too, guys, you have to realize sometimes the floor is zero. This isn't like NBA, NFL, um, ML, well, MLB too could happen, but where your player can get absolutely zero. So just keep that in mind, guys. So the floor on these players are always scary. I don't care who it is. I don't care if it's Wayne Gretzky. It happens, guys. So 7.9K. A great matchup against Vancouver. Get him in there, guys. 100 draft dashboard ranking. Um, Braden points. Man, I wanted I wanted to literally strangle strangle this guy last season. Whenever I would roster him, he would go out there and, and maybe get single digit fantasy points. And when I didn't, he would go off. Tampa Bay though is very dangerous offensively. They haven't got rid of nobody. It's still pretty much the same team. Last two against Chicago, 17-16. Um, but look at his last five games of that season, guys. 12, 21, 21, 21, 11. So, I don't know, guys. Braden Point at 7K. I might have to think about that. Uh, Elias Peters, Patterson, no. Tavares, Bo Harvard. He normally picks it up later in the season. Um, let's get to some value guys down here. We got Kazim Kadari, guys. 4.9K. Um, second liner, but you know what? One of my favorite Colorado players that I rostered last year. And look at his history against St. Louis, guys. 21, 23, 13, and a 5. So, for some value at center, 19, 18, 18 ice time minutes in his last three games. Yeah, guys, definitely worth that 4.9K. Also, Nick Suzuki, guys, at 4.2K. 32, 25, 12 in his last three games. I don't know why Suzuki is so cheap. I really don't, but I'm not going to complain about it. Really not. So for 4.2, 32, 25, 12, 3 and a 10, I think it's a pretty safe play, and I think it's one of the best, better value plays on this slate, guys. Um, Let's see. I just want to make sure I didn't miss any. So, you know, you got the you got the amateurs out and you're going to try hockey for the first time, and they're automatically going to plug in like the Sidney Crosbys and the Malkins, right? Um, I mean, you could, but Philly's pretty good defensively, second in the league last year. So, I mean, you could, but like I said, like these guys' history versus this team is not that good. They've had like one good game out of five, right? Uh, Crosby, two good games out of five, but Crosby's another year older, too. So keep that in mind. Ryan O'Reilly, I just don't like playing him. Sean Coutier, I mean, at 5.7, again, I, I never feel comfortable with these Philly guys, man. So, yeah, that's going to do it for center. I just want to make sure I didn't miss anybody because it is the first game of the season. Don't you dare be sour. But if you're in the club, you're going to have Preston. You're going to have myself. Um, I will break down the slate a little bit better, once, especially once I know like what goalies are in, those type of things. What's the best value for the players? I mean, you just roster McKinnon, McDavid, you're going to run out of salary. So you got to be strategic. So let's go to let's go to Winger. So Ryan Nugent Hopkins, sound like a goddamn something in a candy bar. 6.9K. Dude's always solid. Uh, 25, 17, 30, 27, 3. So he's the most expensive here. Uh, $400 more on FanDuel. Uh, just hasn't done that good against Vancouver, guys. 13, 3, 4, 9, and 6. So, probably won't go here. But, it, you know, he's in a smash spot. Brandon Gallagher is another one of those players last year for me, man. Uh, I'd play him and he wouldn't do shit. Most of these Montreal guys, whenever I would play him, they would do absolutely nothing. So, 6-3 is kind of a heavy price tag for Gallagher. But, against Toronto, he's... Last three games, 11, 21, and 39. So, quite tempting. Because you can see his last five games there. 0, 13, 5, 5, 11, right? So, if you're paying 6, 3, you got to make some decisions here. Uh, Palat, yeah, not really feeling that. JT Miller was solid for me last year. 
A lot of these Vancouver guys would, or to be honest with you. He's 5.9K, so he's priced up a little bit, a little bit, but you want to talk about double-digit fantasy points. Four out of his last five games last season, double-digit fantasy points. Against Edmonton, 9, 16, 11, then that 2 and 5, but he's one of those wingers. He'll go up there, he'll crash the net, he'll stand in front of the goalie and wait for one of them rebounds. So he'll get credited with a lot of shots. Um, just a straight goal scorer. He's an opportunist. He'll sit in front of there and wait for a goal for like a shot from the blue line. And he'll look for, to put that rebound in. So one of those type of players. If you've been watching the sport for a long time like me, he's like a Dino Cicerelli back in the day. Zach Hyman, 5'3", no. This is what I'm talking about, guys. The names, right? Zach Hyman against Montreal hasn't gotten out of double-digit fantasy points. So why the hell would I pay 5'3 for him? Um, Tyler Toffoli, former LA King here, you know, nah, not against Toronto. Blake Coleman's in a good spot here. It's 4.7K, $500 cheaper on FanDuel. Love that FanDuel price. Um, this man against Chicago, 22, 11, and 11 in his last five. Um, for 4.7, I think Blake Coleman is great value, guys. And then Brock Bosner, DraftKings only. DraftKings only. He's 4.6K. DraftKings messed up on his price. Because you can see on FanDuel, he's 2,000 more. So, again, he's he's kind of hit and miss. But for 4.6K, I'm going to play some Brock Bosner, guys. I'm going to do it. Uh, that's way too cheap. Way too freaking cheap. FanDuel price them right. Just DraftKings kind of dropped the ball here. Um, Tanner Pearson, too. Solid 4.1K. I think he's too cheap against Edmonton. 12, 5, 38, 9, 1. And then his last five against them. Um, he's one of these players, guys. Um, Vancouver, just Edmonton plays no defense out there. Um, Vancouver is known to score a lot of goals. And I think this is the year where they, they, they're they going to be a problem. All right. Vancouver is going to be a problem this year. So, yeah, Tanner Pearson's not bad. Whenever I roster him, he does good. Uh, $700 more on FanDuel. Um, let's see. Yamamoto's okay. You know, he started out. Here's, here's, here's what Yamamoto does. He's 3.9K, so I guess I'll put him in here. He starts out the season pretty freaking good, and then he just dies off. But it is the beginning of the season, right? So you could throw Yamamoto in there for some value at 3.9K. Uh, $900 more on FanDuel. Um, Joel Armia here. Armia, sorry guys, 3.8K. Smash spot, way too cheap. $500 more on FanDuel. I guess Toronto guys, 0, 20, 0, 4, and 2. But man, he had a good year last year. 14, 26, 3, 2, 13. So for some value, get him in there, guys. And I don't say that much about these Montreal guys. I can't believe Joe Thornton's still playing, man. God bless him. God bless him, man. It seems like these Sharks, my Sharks players, Whenever they uh they finish out their 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 careers, they go to, they go always go to Toronto. I don't know why. Well, I don't know what's up with Toronto. Uh, good draws, okay. I mean, I really looked into this, guys. I'm just giving you guys the players I really like. Patrick Kane, you know he's a name. You're gonna pay up for him. Seven point one k, one thousand dollars more on Fanduel. They're smoking crack with that. So he doesn't do good against Tampa Bay, guys. He doesn't. 20 fantasy points in his last five games. That's it. Six, 20, five, three, five, and two. Not a good history against Tampa Bay, guys. So I'll save money there. Miko Ratnan for St. Louis. Sorry, for Colorado. Uh, playing St. Louis. There we go. Another one of these guys. I'll either play him or I will try and get McKinnon in also with him. But McKinnon will probably be more owned than Ratnan. I'll just say that much. 7K, price just right. $900 more on FanDuel, guys. Get them in there. Colorado, you like tar I want to target Colorado, Tampa, obviously, but Tampa will always be a popular stack but because they, they score so many goals. Pittsburgh is always popular no matter what. Um, That's just how it is. Like St. Louis, I never roster those guys. They never score goals for me. Um, Let's see here. Brian Russ is 5'6". That's too much. Like these Philly guys, Claude Giroux, v Vakorak, I don't know. 
five and five four. No, I do like Kubliak though from Chicago. Four point nine K. You know he plays second, third line, gets fifteen minutes of ice time. Played Tampa Bay last time and got forty four fantasy points. So if you're looking for a Chicago play that absolutely owns Tampa Bay, you can go Kubliak here, and he's only four point nine K. Six hundred dollars more on Fanduel. Andre Burovsky here, four point eight K. Way too cheap. Somebody's dropping the ball here. Seven hundred dollars more on Fanduel. Um, Seventeen, thirty-one, thirteen, twelve. So these are the double-digit fantasy point guys you want. Colorado again. Stack up on Colorado. I don't mind it. Get him in there, guys. Braden Shen. Whenever I roster him, he just sucks. Uh, Jason Zucker too, man. I mean, he's cheap. He's four point three K. He's just so hit and miss. And his history against Philly, three, three, four, five, five. Not really something I'm excited about, you know. Um, and then you got Mike Hoffman at three, two. Are you kidding me? I'll take that. Mike Hoffman's a, a freaking stud, man. Two thousand eight hundred dollars more on FanDuel. DraftKings dropped the ball here on Mike freaking Hoffman. 13, 17, 18 fantasy points in the last three games. Gets a ton of ice time, guys. So, and going up against Colorado. Yeah, guys, Mike Hoffman at 3-2 is an absolute steal on DraftKings. Vandal, yeah, he's he's priced about right. Um, and that's going to do it for Winger, the players I really like. And then let's go to defense. Did you dare be sound? All right, so Alexander Elder, whenever I played him, guys, he did pretty good. So defense, you don't always have to pay up. Always been my strategy for defensive guys to just get the uh, mid-range. Um, 5.8 it's not bad. $1,500 cheaper on Fandle, though. Definitely a Fandle play. Double-digit fantasy points. He gets those blocks, guys. He gets goals. He takes a lot of shots. 11, 11, 22 in the last three. First liner, guys. Um, get him in there. Uh, Daniel Nurse, Darnell Nurse, sorry, is always popular. 5.4K. He's a very safe play, always has been. 11, 7, 11 in the last three. Um, against Vancouver, 13 and 11 in his last two. So one of the safe defensive plays, guys. Nate Schmidt, nah, just don't trust him. Um, Tyson Berry, man, I thought he was going to do better last year. Ben Chariot, hell no. Ethan Bear, I mean, there's lots of good names here, but here's where I'm going here. One of the few St. Louis guys I do trust is Colton Periaco, guys. 5.5K, 15, 13 in the last three. Gets about 20 minutes of ice time a game. Um, last time against Colorado, did get 14 fantasy points. So get yourself some Colton, and don't you dare be sour. He's $600 cheaper on Vandal. Not too bad. Tory Krug is always popular. 5.2K. Another one of them safe plays. 12-11. Plays, you know, he'll be out there first liner. Um, just his history against Colorado is what bugs me. 3, 5, 6, and 4. But Tory Krug's just one of those guys. 5.2's kind of, eh, but, you know, good cash game play, I think. Um, Let's see. Igor Provorov, 4.9K is decent. Just look at his history against Pittsburgh, guys. 4, 6, 2, 1, 2. Don't like that too much. So I'll pass there. Um, Ryan Graves, always solid. 4.3K on DraftKings. $500 cheaper on Fandle. 11, 16, 15 in his last three, guys. Comes off the second line, but he's way too cheap. And look at his history against St. Louis, 14, 11, 4, 11, 4. Four out of the last five games of the season, guys, he got double-digit fantasy points. So, Ryan Graves, get him in there. Even if you want to pay down at center, I mean, you can totally get away with it on these NHL slates, guys. Um, Samuel Gerrard, guys, 3.4K, too cheap. He's $1,300 more on FanDuel. They dropped the ball again here, guys. Um... Against St. Louis, man, he got a 30 against him three games ago. That's pretty freaking good for a defenseman. 7, 11, 11, 0, and a 3. Sam Girard, I mean, yeah, I get it. St. Louis apparently scores a lot of goals, but not when I roster him. So 
if you want to pay down, there's some value here. Um, just want to make sure I'm not missing anybody. Vince Dunn, 3.2K, $600 more on FanDuel. Just another one of those defensive guys. You can throw him in there and just pray to God to get you double-digit fantasy points. But not a bad play. Not a bad cheat play. Um, I think that's going to do it, guys. Yeah, that's going to do it. It's the first game of the season, so I'm going with the guys I know. I'm going with the history. I'm going with the matchups. And goalie, you guys are on your own because we don't know who's going to be in, right? We don't know who's going to play goalie. Because those aren't, they're like pitchers in MLB, right? They're not announced till sometimes fucking an hour before lock. So, yeah, it's a five game slate. So, perfect size, guys. And that's going to do it for the video. Again, this is my sponsor, Draft Dashboard, $1 for 30 days. Click on the link in the description below. And you yourself can have Draft Dashboard. And then, dfsclub.com, guys. If you have any questions, skywalkerdfs at gmail.com. Hit me up, guys. Any concerns, questions you might have, we're the cheapest in the business, and you get every single sport. So with that said, I'm going to say a prayer for everybody. God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your pets. Yo, let's get this bread. Don't take shit from nobody. Absolutely nobody. I'm Gabriel Skywalker. I'll see you guys tonight in the NBA video. I love you. Take care.